One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I've got here today is a really sweet 1979 Chinook Concours. And it's on a E350, E250 chassis here. Um, and it's a camper special custom order chassis. Pretty darn cool. I'm gonna go over all the options and stuff. First of all, I'm gonna do a complete walk around and give you kind of a once around, show you the truck. It's got its miscellaneous little problems. Cool, but nothing really serious. Coolest thing about this maybe, 86 year old lady was the second owner. She got it from the first lady, she said, who was the first owner. She got all the information from the first lady in there. The first lady, well not that one, but the first owner. And she was the second owner, all kinds of receipts and stuff. Lady loved the thing, and she actually took it from um, like um, Riverside type area, all the way down, all through Baja and all through Mexico. She went all the way up into BC and all around Canada, back down through the Rocky Mountains. She went everywhere, and um, Samantha talked to her a little while ago here, about 20 minutes, for about 20 minutes. And God, she just loved the motor home and it was coming up on different times and she couldn't pay for storage and wasn't traveling as much and decided to get rid of it. So here we are. Beautiful motor home, Chinook Concours. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the underneath now while I'm out here doing this. OneOwnerCarGuide.com. Make sure and comment, subscribe, like, and check out my website. I'll have 60, 80 pictures of it on there in no time flat. Um, very nice, check out the bottom of the motor. Very clean, very maintained. Tranny's great back there. I'll go up close and show you all that. All underneath, it's not all rusty. There's a little bit of patina on it. You can tell like there, maybe a couple of rubber bushings. But on the other hand, she redid a lot of them, as you can tell. But the ones for the sway bar up here are not. I think it's the sway, anti-sway bar. Bumper could use a repaint there. It kind of got some of that chrome looking paint on it. And yeah, it could use a repaint there. Tires! She put them on a while back, didn't drive it much at all. It's got like 1,100 miles on the tires or something from the uh, receipt in there. Little titties all over the middle tread. Slight amount of dry rot. I think they were uh, four and a half, five years old according to the receipt. Um, and that's the front ones there. These are even cleaner. The back four here, that's right. She paid $8.50 for these and like $400 and a quarter for these or $8.95 and four. They're $1,200 worth of tires on here. And these are nice. It's not the same as the front there. These are actually in good shape. Just, you know, a slight bit right there. And I'm really picky about looking at that stuff. Little titties all over the side. And I'd drive this anywhere, she sure did. Nice, good spare on it. Yeah, baby, it's in good shape. Look at that tread. And these back four are just nice as can be. Front two, they're in really good shape, lots of tread. See, this one ain't got the, oh, see, like a little piece, like right there. And I'm very picky about seeing anything like that, right there. Just from studying and stuff. Okay, that's your once around, that's your twice around. Did we show you the underneath or did I go right to the tires? I went right to the tires. See how I am? Let me get under here. Maybe I just didn't want to because my neck's killing me today. It don't matter. You gotta see this training. And she definitely upkept this thing and kept it real nice. It don't leak all over, but I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket or get a drip or something now and then or something, who knows. It's old. Not all rusty. It's got a little patina where the rust like chipped the paint off and you get a little patina of rusty look on it. Um, and as you can see, like teeny little wet spot on that gasket. But don't leak all over. Holding tanks and stuff back there. <laughs> Tread on these fire stones. Okay. Super clean, man. Did Sam VIP insurance. Lots of Surf Princess, Automobile Club, Canada sticker, Orange County Coast Keeper, Danger Woman. If it can be grown, it has to be mine. Education Foundation, I don't know. 
She got all this stuff. International Surfing Museum. She must have surfed, man. Pretty cool. Guatemala. And like I say, she went all the way down Baja and into that area and stuff. She drove this thing everywhere. Just amazing. And lots of stickers. And that's that. So, once around, twice around, underneath around. Now I'm gonna kinda just go up and show you any damage on it. Now you know what I thought would be really cool with this thing? Since the cab needs a little bit of work. That's the cool thing. These one piece fiberglass hardly ever leak and they just always stay nice. This thing is no exception. Just wait till you see the inside. Take yourself an F350 power stroke and just like cut that out there and back it right in. Oh man, that'd be sweet. So, I'm gonna show you the worst spot on is the cab here. Um, let's look at the cab first. Around here, it's starting to get a little corrosion in there. And on the door, as you can see. And on the bottom of the door, as you can see. And she lived by the coast a little bit, as you see from the coastal things. And she said there's a little bit of rust on it when she bought it from the first owner. And it got a little bit worse as she was living down there by the beach. As you can see, fenders are all strong, but eh, it's not really what it's about. I mean, you can put doors on it for 50 a piece. I've got a new hood I'll throw in, actually, if you want. Um, very clean underneath, just light patina on it, like I say, solid as can be, wheel well solid as can be, and the fender and stuff is good here, but around this seal around the window, you could strip all this out and just re-silicone it all, that would probably be your best bet. You could redo the hood, you can tell here, you got some corrosion along the front like they get sometimes. Um, solid and all up there. This right here, around here. And it doesn't seem to leak all on it. We've had it during the rainy months here. Same thing on the top of this. Just pretty around. Oh, that's why it happened like that. They actually put this in as a drip rail thing and it didn't drip rail off. It got in behind it. That makes sense. Beautiful truck. Nice on the inside. Camper special, baby. That's right. Okay, so, that's your cab. Same thing on the bottom of the doors. This fender's not as clean. Either use it, cut that cab off, take them doors off, do whatever. Um, but it's clean, it's nice, and it don't leak, and it's a good runner. And it was registered up till this year, she drove the thing everywhere. Um, so, now let's look at the rest, the back. We're talking near perfect. I mean, one piece fiberglass stuff. This lasts forever, man. Wheels could use a paint, and I usually can do stuff like that. If you'd like them shaped up, I could do that. Um, water hook up. Water, stick it in there. Dual fuels. Electrical hookup. The door is a little loose. It's there. Um, the ladder could use some adjustment, but at the same time, one of your rings are loose. Now I'm going to go ahead and Call somebody to help me before I climb up there. So I'll continue around. Kind of clear coat or something coming off there. Maybe it's paint. Maybe she had the back painted. You know, that's it. I'll bet you she painted the back. And a little flakage there. Um, can't even tell, hardly, unless you look really close. I'm going to climb up here. I think it's okay, don't you? As long as you don't get too far up. You see? But I gotta show you the roof. And the vent flew off. And she actually rebought one a couple years ago for 22 bucks. Um, swamp, not swamp, but air conditioner. Um, it's the kind of thing where you probably just wanna unscrew this and get yourself a new ladder to where you don't have to be worried when you go up here like I just was. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you down this side and then we'll go ahead and show some of the inside real quick now is what we'll do. Um, Trina, if you could drop that tire to where I can show them the generator. Um, this side, very clean, everything good. Like I say, this part on it is just nice as can be and it's really hard to mess up these one-piece fiberglass units. Um, the cab, leave a little bit to be desired here, but it is the way it is and that's just kind of a disclosure to where you know exactly what you're getting. Antenna's gone. Uh, he might have that down by now. Suburban. Yeah, man, he's quick. Oh, we gotta get the keys. So you lay the tire down, <clears throat> and next thing you know, you got a generator. Now, she said she didn't use the generator very much. You told me there's a generator here. So there is no generator. Okay. Huh? Okay. There's no generator. There's storage there. Stinking guy telling me there's a generator there. I don't know if I'll edit this or what. No retakes. Um, no generator. But show me the inside there. I kind of got taken aback. And... Yeah, just kind of storage for extra stuff. In case you have a flat, drain hose, stuff like that. Um, now we'll go look at the inside. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what I've got in here now. And the train will give me a hand getting blinds up and stuff like that. And we'll be able to just kind of really show you what we got. Um, to start off with, it's in great shape. And I'll show you this in a dark manner. Ooh, when he opened it, that did pretty well. Um, let me do a dark. Give me like 30 seconds and then come in here. Um, blender in the counter. Too cool. All this stuff. I'm gonna have to start it up to kind of make some things work. Um, all these receipts. This goes forward and back. Sleep a bunch of people in here. Okay, well, that's the insides. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull these things up now and we'll do it to it. I'll kind of show you. Come around front and pull up that front blind. It's hard. The bathroom's very clean, by the way. It's very hard to do this thing and kind of get around everything and keep it kind of flowing. Kind of help it lift up there. It goes up nice, man. There's that. And very nice on that. I've been, I was out here sitting earlier and looking at all these receipts. And that's when we called her up. She got the original owner information, all these stinking receipts and repairs she's done over the years. Um, I'll show you this side before he raises that up. And that should do you in. Um, I'll just start here. Chinook. And she made this up. And man, she's got all kinds of instructions on how to do everything. 86 years old. I sure as heck hope that I can travel around and do all this stuff and keep track and read my own writing and all this stuff by the time I'm that old. I mean, she's got everything here to where she knows exactly what's going on. And even got the layout of the inside. This is cool stuff. Everything you need to drain your tanks and everything. Oh, and by the way, got the interior thing here. Um, so all kinds of, this is a one ton. It is an E350 then, 20 foot. Um, ha! It's an 18 plus and it's 20 foot, 10 inches. Um, 350, 140, 60, or a 73. Yeah, baby, all the info about it versus the bunk model. Ah, she knows everything about it. That's cool. It's all been highlighted and looked through and all that. And, She's got all kinds of stuff written down. And, oops, this is the Sanyo thing. New refrigerator thing, installation instructions, who knows. Look at that, if you gotta take your fridge and work on it, think about having this right here to actually guide you through it. That is so cool. This came out because she bought a new SureFlow pump here and put on it. So, all this cool stuff is in here. Water heater, there's your original Magic Chef. 
microwave recreational cooking with gas and your oven range it's all in here man so that's pretty cool Control component. put this aside um, here's your shop manual it's from a 78 um, but still pretty cool um, all kinds of receipts like you wouldn't believe upkeep has her mile per gallon and everything she was getting 10 average miles per gallon she's got all this stuff written down here and other than that and he's gonna run a cord to where I can actually show you the blender and stuff because certain things don't work without being plugged in uh, man just a cool I want to show you the insides here to where you can see it and all this this fold out now. Yeah, this folds out. Big old heater under there. This comes down and lays down. Super cool. Actually, we got a older lady here looking at it. Interesting. Blue California plates. And you got the top thing. Um, I can't let her come in here while I'm doing this. I gotta keep this going. Uh, bathroom's in great shape. I don't know if I've showed that yet. Shower and such. That's been taped. I just want to show you that. And that's got a little separation. Not much. Um, I pulled that forward by accident. And, I don't know if I showed you this, but I will. Pretty cool stuff. It doesn't leak in here. Lots of storage, lots of compartments. They all work. The oven's nice and, I mean, the oven's nice and clean. The fridge is nice and clean. Microwave. All this works too. It's an old Magic Chef one as well. This is like a long time ago microwave. Um, you got a microwave and air and middle thing for that. You got your AC up top and heater. Um, okay, well, that's lots of stuff there. Um, let me go on a test drive here in a second. Front seats are in great shape. I'm trying to think of what I've missed. Doghouse thing there is nice with the vinyl over it. Um, and maybe I've just missed showing you from this angle. And it's very roomy. Very nice unit. And. Oh, this is glued down on the shag. It's not really glued down that well. It's just down and to protect it, it seems like. Um, it's kind of connected to that. It might be stitched in, glued in. I don't know. All I know is it looks okay. It looks decent. Um, if you want to restore this thing, that's great. It'll be easy to do. Here you got some dry rod type areas on this that are a problem. Um, don't need to be fixed, but... I just want to be up front and show you everything that could be wrong with it or stuff like that. I dig these little lights like this and he's going to go ahead and get me a cord plugged in here like I said. And that's some fresh air coming in from out inside a vent. And that's pretty much your once around, twice around of the whole thing here. I don't know if we are plugged in yet so we shall see um well i'm gonna cut this out and talk to you in a second crack in the windshield here that you can see a little crack there and this just ain't hanging in there because they're a little bit messed up and this here piece although it's here um it's definitely rotted out up here around the windshield and this piece you'll need to take out or attach or something somehow. Right now it's screwed in. Um, and I'll probably place, place that piece in the back. 
blinds here, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let's get it plugged in now. So let's see what we can come up with. Wow, it's even got the high, low, bake, roast, solid state microwave oven. Wow, cool stuff. And this, the little plastic piece that catches it underneath. You can turn it down. That's actually how it works. Pretty cool. Clean in here. These things are just a little old, but in great shape. Little splitters are falling off of them a little bit. Sure is nice. Well, anything I can tell you about it here. I mean, oh yeah, this you gotta switch down here to make this be up here. And then the, from that part, it glows cool, but it could be colder. I think it could use a recharge. Um, and I don't know if it's a, Pre-wired for optional heat. I don't know if it's a um, swamp cooler or an actual air conditioner, but I think it's an air conditioner. Okay, well, cool stuff. How's that for a bunch of lights on? That, oh wait, it works. I'm happy when I catch one that don't. Got every light. So that's cool. Um, LP level for gas. Battery. Pump works. We actually might have had a... Yeah, the faucet was on. It was pumping some water out. Um, better shut that off. Get all these. Turned off now, and get outside, walk around, see if I missed anything. Can't think of anything. I did hole in it right there, and a little thing screwed into it there. Hitch on it, and that's that. Got the cord all plugged in. I'm gonna take you for a test drive now, and get it unplugged. So it's one. One to the other, one to the other, one to the other. No foul smells, like it's been smoked in or anything. It's really clean. I'm gonna, we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna go for a test drive. We'll talk to you in a minute. This is another portion I'll clip in on this Chinook Concours. Well, like I said here, it's time for a test drive. It's probably my favorite part of doing these. Um, we're gonna go around the block. <laughs> Not as far as she went. God, she went everywhere on it. Got the... AC and it actually blows cool. Um, so it's got the dual AC. A little cold hearted starting up sometimes. But runs and drives great. Here's breeder. Beaglespocket.com for miniature pocket beagles. Well, no retakes, but definitely just killed it. A little cold hearted, like I said. It ain't been ran in about a year. Did I do it again? I sure did. I should have let it warm up while I was doing my thing here. Feather it just a bit, and we are out to stop at the light. Brakes are just a little bit squishy on it. Um, definitely need a little brake work. In fact, here's a brake light on. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. A little carb adjustment or something there. And also, it could be a little bit older of gas. Also, this thing drives nice. Shifts, down shifts, you name it shifts. And I mean, they're good enough to stop it. 
Oh, by the way, I always talk about these lights here that record you with the camera. Look there, they got them taped off. I'm in a different way here. The police are going down that road. Two of them. Holy smoke. They're all over here nowadays. Hope I got enough gas to make it back. You really do. And one owner, carguy.com, may have given that out even a time or two. It's be a little bit longer of a test run. And it's getting just a little bit better. Don't have feathered as much taken off. But the takeoff, it definitely is a little cold hearted. After that, man, you're going. Oh, this thing's nice. Really nice driver. Give this a push. I can see out of my mirror. It's nice, man. It just goes. And like I say, she drove it all over Baja and all over Canada, all over North America there, I guess you say, huh? And that is pretty much our test drive. We're down here to chase now. So we're gonna make a right and head back towards the yard. Check out my um, channel here. I've got lots of videos on here. Over 1,100 of them. And I do new ones. Actually, I do one or two every day. So, lots of good content. This thing go, man. This is shit Oh, baby. Plenty of power, too. Cruise control. I didn't want them cops to see me do my little filming. I tied it around my hand getting proper here. But I had a little trouble in Nevada City with that. Nevada City, California. I think it is. I didn't like that. And it is California, because they reminded me about five times that I was in California now with my Montana plate deal. Yeah, baby, this thing goes. Camper Special in an E-Class and Econoline is kind of a rare deal. You don't see a lot like that. See, right at that first part of the pedal, you got a feather some kind of adjustment. Man, it runs and drives great. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing downstairs to where I can show you underneath it here. There's likely a little exhaust leak there that I hear. Come on, no, 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 ah! You gotta do it just right too, man. Let it fire right back up. I mean, it's just a great runner. It just likes to be the nest there at first. It likes a little love and care. And yes, I do trust the brakes because here we go! And we'll take some more pictures down here just for the heck of it. I'll try and show you the back down here just for the heck of it. And that's about all I know. It's in great shape. Um. Actually, the way things are in here now with the neighbor moved out, I'm going to do this a total different way and back this up in here differently. Ooh, it seems to be not doing that now, the same. Okay, I like this right here. There we go. I'm going to walk out through the back. Another crack in the windshield over there. And you can see it's very nice, very clean. Oh man, it all stayed on the counter. I did a good job driving. If I might say so myself. Let me show you everything outside, kind of in a, a darker light, I guess you'd say. To where a darker light, does that make sense? To where you can see it, and see what it really looks like down here. God, it's in great shape. And I sure would like to do a project with it and 
take that camper back off and put it on a big old power stroke. And that could start a whole argument. No, Duramax! Who knows? Well, one owner car guy com taking a couple pictures as I do this to kind of make my ad a little bit more pleasant and that is that you've seen the outside you've seen the inside you've seen the underneath side you've seen it all right here one owner car guide.com and I think and I sure wish he was here again to hold this but I'm gonna actually climb up here show you this very stupid I guess if you Consider it's not tied down. Nobody holding you. For a backup camera, maybe? Well, that's that. I thank you for watching. Ah, the handle in a funky light. Well, that's that. Uh, if there's any questions, 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. My name's Nathan. And you know what? I gotta pop this hood. Sure do. Oh yeah, your fuel switch. Oh, there's no, no popper. Doors are tight and everything. Um, come on, really? Hang on a sec here. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Dual battery, camper special. That's where it's at. Um, this piece here, like I say, very clean under here. Um, excuse me, just got caught on the plug wire there. Or on the hinge with my camera cord. And that kind of shows everything. This here piece for the air intake is off of that. Um, that's the worst I can tell. And you know, besides doing a hose and a belt check, she's definitely replaced some hoses and belts, but you just never know on something that's old. You know, distributor cap looks brand spanking new there. That hose obviously is being replaced, but dual battery, like I say, camper special. Yeah, baby. So, oneownercarguy.com. That's your 79 E350 camper special. What a deal. Um, call me, I'd be glad to show it to you, you know, tell you about it, answer any questions. Help you out. I'll ship this anywhere in the world. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching and give me a call with any questions. Um, man, I just can't think of anything else to say about this car, truck, whatever you want to call it. Chinook Concours. Okay, well, thank you much. Have a great day or night. Call me, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And you can check that out and see lots of pictures and videos and other cars too. Lots of other cars. We'll talk to you.